hi guys i changed my hairstyle again so i thought i'd take you on the journey with me my voice is not so not doing so well well my throat is not doing so well my voice and i'm the feelings but um this is my hair or this was my hair yesterday so if you remember i had in the the little twists before so I had pulled them out and Sunday night, um, I took maybe about two to three hours combing it out. Because remember I had opened up the twist and everything. Yes, it looked nice. That other little fine twist that I had in. I opened them up and wore it like that for a week. Yes, it looked very nice. But me nothing me ever do that again. Because trust me, the pain I felt Sunday night to comb out my hair. Um, Mom and Denvia had to help me to try to get out all the knots and just to detangle it properly. So I'd, I had dropped some big twists in it. And um, due to time constraints and the tenderness of my head, I couldn't do much more with it on Monday morning. So I just got up and loosed up, do like a twist out. That's what I did to go to work yesterday. But um, I had made plans with my hairdresser to get my hair done yesterday evening. That's Monday evening after work. So I said, you know what, it's one day. I'll just wear the twist out like that and then do my hair in the evening. So when I, I came home from work, changed and everything and went back out because I knew it would take a while and I didn't want to be on the road in my uniform so late. So I came home, then went back to the hairdresser. So we started my hair about six o'clock and I told my hairdresser that I'm going to ensure that I tell you guys that I have a problem when she keep when she asked me for whole hair. <laughs> so I said I want to come on here and ask you guys when you go to braid your hair, does your hairdresser still ask you to hold the hair for her? Because uh, but tell her I said we need to be free from this in 2024. We need it to be a case now where everybody has their own little thing where they can hold up ears. See me showing the ears so one at a time. A two and a ear me have two and a ear. So I started telling her that I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna deduct a fee from the amount of money she's to get for me having to hold my hair for the entire evening because I have my vlogging for do. And we could have barely do my vlogging because I'm busy a whole here. Anyways, this is the whole process that I went through. If you know um, who I go to, you know that she she might have slow. Me think probably she's slower than some people, but she is very, very, very neat. Very it look good when she do her, when she do hair, it look nice. So I will continue to go to her and I've been going to her for years now like about at least no that's maybe at least nine years or so I've been going to her so once I'm combing my natural hair or doing braids she's the person I go to one or two times I might go to other persons but I've pretty much been going to her loyally for about nine years anyways when we got to this last plot at the front here not the last one this was the second to last one it was about 11 o'clock so um we started at six as i said and everything finished around 12 o'clock because even though she finished the last braid at around after 11 there about you know if you're used to if you're familiar with braiding your hair or you've been around people who have braided their hair you know that when the last plait finish or the last braid finish that's not the end of it but um once this one was finished i had a little i felt a little tinge of hope <laughs> the good thing though was that um then they came to stay with me so he came out at about i would say probably around 10 30 or 11 because in the evening he had dropped me off at the hairdresser because we were trying to get the vehicle tinted. So he had dropped me off and then he was trying to see if he could find somebody to tint the vehicle. But we couldn't find anybody at that hour because as I said it was after work. So um, I told him that um, I know I would be late. I know it would take a while. So around 
I think maybe 10.30. He came and stayed with me, which I truly appreciated. I always love when him come stay with me at the hairdresser because me love him company. But anyway, this was the last plot. When we finish this now, then we have to go into individually trimming up every plot. So, you know, that take another time. I think this maybe took another 20 minutes, probably. But she got through one thing with her, she diligent. I can't take that from her. Um, I can't take that from her. She diligent. So she went through and she trim up each plot one by one by this time, guys. And I said, oh God, me didn't know. I expected it still in me. Expect I mean, not come on me out until this morning. Um, this is how the length of the hair that I was just showing you. But before she hot water it and trim it up and everything. After this, now we waited until this is when I was just waiting for her to hot water the hair. So I took up, a, I got up for a minute and stretched my legs and whatever. This is when she was applying the hot water to it. Um, once she had done this, then we were closer. We were closer, but guys, I was so sleepy, so tired by this time. I'll then be a drop of sleep in when I cheer them. <laughs> but, um, you know, overall, overall, I would say um, she did well. I can't complain. She did well, and she always does well, and that is why I continue to go to her. But this is all the more reason why I tell you guys all the time that I could never be a hot girl like honestly it's just not for me because doing this all the time i couldn't do this all the time by the time i get home this morning i just hurry up and go bed and go straight into my bed but this is how the finished product the finished thing looked so let me know if you like it